G'day everybody, welcome back to Perth West Oz RC. I hope everyone had a great New Year's Eve festivities and bringing in the new year. So happy new year to everybody in 2018. It's the 1st of January here in Australia. So um, looks like it's going to be a pretty good year for RC. So best wishes to all. So this particular truck is a 116 scale model. It's pretty cheap, it's only a tad over $40 US and around $55 Australian. It comes in two different colours. I have the green one here. And you've got a blue and white one there. So yeah, it comes with a, a basic looking uh, controller there. It has a proportional throttle, but the, the actual steering ain't proportional. It's just on or off, basically. Uh, full lock turns uh, either direction. So uh, I'll open the box up and uh, let's have a look. Okay guys, this is what you get in the box. Comes in a little plastic wrapper there. You've got a very simple instruction leaflet here. So have a quick look at that. Shows you what you get in the uh, package there. 116 scale four wheel drive vehicle, US military truck. Just basic, uh, Instructions, that's all. Information about the six volt battery, how to charge it, and so forth. But very good in English. Uh, instructions there. Got how to trim it up underneath. So it's a basic, uh, simple manual there. So here is the truck, guys. 116 scale four wheel drive military truck. This is a different design to. Uh, the others that have uh, the other one that's been reviewed quite a few times, I've noticed. This is a different design altogether, but a uh, very nice looking representation of a, a scaled military vehicle. Has the LED lights, headlights on the front there. You have the uh, a bit of detail on the cabin there with the steering wheel seats. Has the fuel tank down there, spare tire, rubber tire, which is actually a full size one like the rest. Got some painted uh, tail lights on the back here. A very nice looking vehicle. So, what I like about this one, much like the other model that they've got out there, is that to access the battery, you've, you open the hood up. So, uh, this is a little uh, nickel cadmium battery in there. It's um, 700 milliamp, six volt. Just goes in there with the little uh, black plug. So to secure the cab, you got two tabs on each side, uh, one on each side. And you just slide that and click it in place. And that becomes pretty secure. So underneath it's got the on and off switch. I've got it upside down at the moment, but you get the idea. That turns on the lights. You've got a little trimmer there to trim your steering. There is no steering trim on the uh, on the controller. The little brush motor is located in the middle here and it drives both diffs front and rear with the drive shafts here. It has uh, leaf springs on the back and on the front, very nice. So once you turn the switch on, you've got the headlights flashing, so it's ready to bind. It's even got details of the uh, little radiator behind the grill, that's pretty cool. So I'll just leave that up there for a moment. So in this little bag here, you get the um, little USB charger, okay with the uh, black connector. This, um, they say in the manual, this uh, will take approximately one and a half hours to charge that 700 nickel cadmium battery up from flat, I guess. So, you know, prepare to uh, wait about an hour and a half to charge this via USB. But the battery should give you a, a run time on the truck for approximately 20 minutes, so. 
that's not too bad. We also got two spare leaf springs, guys, so that's nice that they uh, threw them in, just as spares if you one pops out or something while you're going through the, uh, the terrain, off-roading and stuff like that, so uh, that's great. So the last two items are two little uh, side mirrors here to go on the side of the truck. They don't have any little uh, mirror finish on there, but I suppose you could paint them in if you want to uh, detail it a bit more. So these ones just uh, clip into those two holes on the A pillar of the door there. So I'll be doing that uh, later on before I take it out for a test run. So here is the transmitter, guys. Very basic, cheap transmitter. It's got the uh, military truck name on the top. 4x4 off-road, 2.4 gigahertz. Has no trims because the trim is on the uh, truck itself. It's one of those little ones that I showed you earlier. So yeah, it's very basic guys. Uh, just you got your steering and your throttle. Very loud. Much like the other model of truck that uh, has been reviewed quite a few times. So it's just basically on or off. But it's good that the throttle is proportional at least. So you can go really slow or full throttle so that's good at least at least the uh one of the controls is proportional it's just not the steering that servo is loud <laughs> but anyways <laughs> takes two double a batteries just here just undo the screw pop them in put the screw back because uh i think you need it on this one because it might slide off Okay, guys, well, that basically covers... I'll just take them out so I don't lose them. Okay, guys, so that basically covers the um, details of the truck. Um, you know, it looks like it's a good collector's item for someone into military RC uh, vehicles or, you know, a good little uh, military truck for a kid, you know. It's not going to be fast, uh, but... I think you can pretty much mod these ones if you really want to get serious about it, like maybe change the motor out or do a few mods like that, battery mods maybe to make it go quicker on LiPo or something. But uh, yeah, I'll just uh, continue on this video with the uh, drive test and that will be pretty much it, guys. There will be a coupon code and a link in the description of this video from RC Moment. So I'd like to thank them once again for letting me have the opportunity to review this truck um it's just yeah it's a, a different model than uh the Henglong one i think it's called so yeah it's good to have a another model out there all right guys i hope you enjoy the next portion of this video the driving portion of it so until i see you guys next time have a great new year 2018 and uh happy rcn Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you on the next one.